And back here in Lagos, the state government has called for the full implementation of the Violence Against Persons Prohibition Act. This to curb cases of sexual and gender-based violence. The Commissioner for Women and Poverty Elevation, Cecilia Dada, was speaking at a walk to commemorate the 16 days of activism against sexual and gender-based violence, uh, which was launched last week. And she assured that the state government will continue to intensify efforts in curbing all forms of violence amongst residents, especially towards women. Today, we have gone round to campaign for the citizens to invest in the campaign against violence against women and the girls and all the governments around the world. Today is the day that they will check themselves and see if indeed they have invested in the prevention of violence against women and girls. The essence of this celebration is to sensitize people, the citizens of Lagos and Nigeria, also the whole world about the issue that we call gender-based violence. We are just collaborating together. We are uniting to say no to all forms of gender-based violence that, has been, that is melted against women and girls in our society. Young people are, especially women and girls, are, um, are, they, are the, um, they are the victims of gender-based violence. Every year, we join efforts together to ensure that uh, partners come together to find areas where uh, our uh, we, we have common interests to ensure that we fight against gender-based violence collectively as a state. Lagos State is one of the forerunners to ensure that GBV is domesticated in Lagos, ensure that perpetrators are brought to book, ensure that we work together collaboratively.